Hey everybody, Fred Minnick here, and I'm going to review what is a first, a barrel proof from Heaven Hill on their Bernheim original line. This is a wheat whiskey, which is different than bourbon. I'll tell you more about that here in a second. So some measurables on this. First of all, this is a batch A223, clocks in at 118.3 proof. Now, this is a mash bill that's going to be a little unique for a lot of folks. First of all, it's a wheat whiskey. I'll get into a little bit of the history of wheat whiskey in a second. But this is 51% wheat, 51% wheat, which means this is barely a wheat whiskey. By law, wheat whiskey, which is not a bourbon, it's a different type of whiskey. Wheat whiskey has to be at least 51% wheat. So this is barely a wheat whiskey. 37% corn and 12% malted barley. This is nine years old and it's got a suggested retail price of $64.99. So not a bad uh, retail price for, uh, for a new product like this. So a little, about, um, a little about wheat whiskey. Wheat whiskey is basically the bastard of American whiskey. Like, wheat whiskey typically stinks. Like, they're just like, if you get a wheat whiskey on, on a tasting on a tasting map, you know, usually you get notes of, like, bubble gum. You get, um, you get some, like, like some kind of taint to it. Like it it's, a, it, it's typically not a good whiskey. And, and I, it always breaks my heart because small distillers will play around with it, but, you know, the flavor is just not there. However, Journeyman came out with uh, their wheat whiskey that just absolutely crushed the, the market, and people fell in love with that. Of course, they won my uh, spirits competition, the Ascots, which has, you know, I think we have 40 judges, and they pick, we picked that as, like, the best whiskey. Uh, so uh, Heaven Hill has done the best job of marketing a wheat whiskey with Bernheim. But even still, it's not, it hasn't kind of pressed that envelope. It hasn't been something that people get excited about. But I will say that, again, Heaven Hill has done a good job of marketing it. They have had, they've had two expressions of Parker's Heritage that were wheat whiskeys, and they were fantastic. So I hope that what we're about to taste here is a, more along the lines of those previous Parker's expressions than say those bubble gummy kind of like uh, craft uh, distiller expressions that were just so bad, so bad. Um, now, for those that are new to new to this world, you got to remember, whiskey uh, bourbon is a style of whiskey, and so when someone says um, wheat whiskey, that's different than weeded bourbon. Wheat whiskey is a category that is predominantly wheat. Bourbon is a category that's predominantly corn. And when you hear wheated bourbon, that means the secondary grain is wheat. I know it can be very confusing and people kind of throw around wheater and wheated bourbon. And even still, probably 75% of the people who buy this are going to think it's a bourbon. It's just education, learning, learning a new language, getting associated with the different styles of whiskey. So, okay, enough of that. Let's get into the actual uh, tasting. So, for those who watch this channel regularly, thank you. And I know at the top of the year, I said I was going to be doing everything blind. Well, here we are, about to be three months in, and uh, I had my... I had the Super Bowl, like literally I did events around the big game and I went to the Super Bowl. Uh, I had some events in Houston uh, that were private and I've had a lot of other privates and I've just been doing all kinds of stuff that's kept me away from being able to do blind tastings. I thought I could take my tastings on the road. I was wrong. I was wrong. But I knew I owed you, I owed you some, uh, some, some uh, a whiskey tasting here. So that's what I'm doing. I, I just got this bottle. I want to crack it open and taste it with you. And, uh, and first of all, apologize, but the schedule is a schedule. I will catch up. You will see that. And um, those who are my YouTube members, 
get ready. The Patreon switch is coming very soon, very soon. So that'll be happening, I think, within the month, within the next month or two. So here we go. This is the Bernheim nine-year-old barrel proof. That's what it looks like right there. Boom. Boom, they got a little QR code action. I like that. I remember when QR codes were first coming out. I was in uh, Portugal when I first learned about them, and I was meeting with a guy that was putting them on uh, wine bottles, and he was talking about how these are the future for, for alcohol. And he was probably, this was 2008 or 2009, I think, and he was probably a little too early for it, but I was like, man, this is really cool. You know, that, that happens a lot of time. Technology just isn't there to support it system-wide, and I think that's what happened uh, happened there. Anyway, QR code on the bottle if you want to click on that. Whew. Definitely not that bubble gummy smell that I do. Oh, boy, that smells good. Okay, so this smells incredible. Has a very um, caramelly forward kind of aroma. In fact, if I was if I was blinding this, I probably would think just by the aroma it is a bourbon. This does not smell um, like w when I typically smell a wheat whiskey. There will be like a like a buttered toast kind of note. I do not smell that here. I get a lot of like sugars a lot of vanillas a lot of caramels well let's see what it tastes like it feels great on the palate it feels absolutely wonderful on the palate so that 118.8 proof not too not too hot not coming there kicking my butt it feels feels very good so it doesn't feel too alcoholic. Um, it kind of like comes to the tip, works itself back, draws in underneath a little bit. Not a lot of not a lot of uh, back palate action for me. Um, but it's very it's very savory. It has a lot of um, I would say like a muffin, you know, like a like a blueberry muffin it has like this really nice blueberry muffin taste to it. Has um, has a real out, outstanding um, red vine or red licorice kind of note. So like sweet, chewy, licorice-y thing. Not the black licorice, which is bitter. Um, this is more sweet. And then let me taste it again. That's really good. I get like a, like a, like Cheerios, like a Cheerios, like a honey nut Cheerios. So like there's a honey, there's like a grain element to it. And it's like, it's not, it's like, it's not honey on, on bread. It's like a, like Cheerio. Um, and I just, that's probably, that that's, got to in my mind that's got to be the wheat you know the wheat is the wheat is like um it just it's so it's such a strong pronounced grain if it's not countered uh properly and that's why a lot of those like bubblegum notes come out like with with rye rye really expresses itself well in spirit with wheat man it just it it, it doesn't have a good history and there's a reason why distillers shied away from it uh, for the most part and use rye instead because it just doesn't produce a lot of the flavors that people want but I think I think Heaven Hill did something right here you know they got they obviously got the mash bill down they've got the aging down with with their wheat whiskey um, so this is this is quite delicious taste it one more time for the finish I'd say the only thing lacking in this 
is a really long finish. It's medium. It's got a medium, nice saltwater taffy note kind of pops up. Like a brininess even. Like there's that there's um, a little brininess coming in toward the end. Um, but there's not, it's not lasting on the palate for, you know, it, it goes away after 15, 20, 30 seconds. Um, it's gone now. So, like, I just started talking about it and it's, and it's got, you know, to borrow Randy from South Park's line. Uh, but um, anyway, my thought on this, it, it's very good. The finish um, isn't doesn't have the backbone that you would want, but you're also looking at like a first release. Uh, it looks like Heaven Hill is going to be going with a Larceny, which is a weeded bourbon, not a wheat whiskey. Uh, Larceny, Elijah Craig, and now Bernheim in their series of like uh, barrel proofs. So... That uh, is exciting to see. It's another uh, another bottle for us to to seek out, but very much recommended if you are into exploring new flavors. If you do not like, if you don't like muffins, which you know, if you don't like blueberry muffins, if you don't like uh, you know sweet things, you may not like it. If you're into rye or like spicy bourbons, you you may not like this. So just something to think about as you're dropping your coin in the liquor store. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. And once again, my apologies for, uh, for my schedule not allowing me to uh, drop, um, drop a video for you. That was a tasting video. Um, I'm working on it. I'm working on it, I promise. But thank you for tuning in. Be safe out there. Remember, vodka sucks unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. Cheers. <laughs>